Nice 06 Holiday Rambler Savoy. Just came in here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, roughly 27, 28 feet rear living super slide. Probably closer to 28, 29 feet now that I think about it because it has a full walkthrough middle bathroom. That is very nice. It does extend the floor plan just slightly. Um, you see we do have the full uh, slide out awning topper here uh, over the slide. That's going to help protect this thing because it keeps water channeled away from the roof of your slide, away from your seals. I don't know how well this is going to display on video. One of the reasons we put these together is uh, because there are things you can see with your naked eye that you can't see in a still photo. For instance, right here, and I don't even think it's showing up on video, it's so minor, but this entire vertical line right here, this piece of skin has delaminated. However, you can see it's still fully structural. If you don't believe me, please visit our dealership and thump on it yourself like I just did. This is an aluminum framework trailer. Um, I've seen this happen before. When uh, the sun hits the trailer, the aluminum will warm up and cool down more quickly than the rest of the skin. That means that you have a little variance in the heat uh, between the sidewall and the framework. And that means that where the aluminum touches, it can uh, kind of just think of it like a sticker. You know, when you, when you uh, steam a stamp off of an envelope, same concept. The, st the stamp will heat up more quickly or less quickly than the envelope. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just cosmetic. It's not the structures falling apart, but you deserve to know it's there. I do like that this has an extra large baggage door here. It's both wider and taller than you normally find. You see the little trough right here? That's perfect outside if you're gonna have like a cooler sitting out here. But this is also a nice way to kind of take a peek into how these things are built. You see all, we have all welded aluminum framework in here. All the woodwork is at least a half inch, if not thicker, and lots and lots of space to uh, keep all of your baggage chairs and all those extra things that you need on your next camping trip. Pretty good sized power on, or not power awning, pardon me, patio awning is the word I was looking for. Um, about 18 feet roughly, I'm going to just kind of estimate from there. A lot of times trailers like this you only see two entry steps. The third step means you have a little easier angle of attack when you're walking up and down. Nice if you have maybe uh, a knee or hip problem, just kind of a little slow to move around. Rear uh, living here means lots of windows and uh, they actually put some very nice window treatments inside here. Let's take a look at that. As you step inside, I immediately went, ooh, I like Venetian blinds. That's just a, just a weakness that I have. I, I think these things are very cool um, because you can get a lot of light, a lot of privacy, all at the same time. So putting a, a, you know, a residential blind in the rear window like that, that's a pretty cool touch. And you see, they did a nice job. At, I mean, it matches the fabric on those rear blinds, matches the fabric on these shades almost perfectly. You know, looking around, a couple things I always like to point out on these Savoys. They're 81 inches tall, not 78. They are taller. Actually, this may even be bigger. This may be 7 foot tall. I think it is. This is a very tall interior. What that means is that when a tall person like me stands in the shower, I have plenty of room. It also means taller slide-out rooms. So you not only get big windows, but you also get cabinets overhead in the slide-out instead of only one or the other. You're also going to see a ton of this stuff. These people put these cool little, like, uh, computer office mats down all over the place. And they, you see, they have it cut, it in, uh, cut and fitted around the dinette base. They have something similar up here uh, in the bedroom when you first walk in. They were incredibly detail-oriented when it came to maintenance and upkeep on this trailer. They did a very nice job of it. Um... The air conditioner here, neat little feature on this, it's a, a carrier remote controlled AC system. This remote control is actually also your thermostat. So wherever you take the remote control, it will try to climate control to that position. The problem with having a, a thermostat, say, fixed on the wall right here, is it's going to try to adjust the temperature for the person sitting in this chair. But what if you're sleeping up in the bedroom? It's not doing anything for you then. So you can keep this thing with you, and the AC will try to keep up wherever you happen to be in the coach. It's a nice little uh, feature like that. Um, I did notice, too, these chairs back here are a little bit wider than normal. So you also have central air, 
central heat in the floor. So you have ducting in every area here, help uh, keeping even cool or even warming uh, consistency through the trailer. And uh, common rear living with a, a with a side kitchen, but this one does have a pantry next to the refrigerator, and that will offer far more storage than most rear living rooms allow. And that's what that extra foot or two from a 26 foot rear living to a 28 or nine gets you. Um, it is worth noting too, the side windows here not only have pleated shades, but also even the side windows on the slides open for uh, full cross ventilation. Near as I can tell, every window opens on this thing for cross ventilation. Um, I did mention the pantry here. Lots of space, and that is as deep as the refrigerator. So if you stick your arm in that, a big tall guy like me, it comes up almost right to my armpit. Very deep, uh, large space. You can, you can keep a lot of mac and cheese in there. <laughs> Now, up in the bedroom, you naturally have a his and a hers wardrobe, but here in the bathroom, you have a an extra, like, triple size wardrobe closet. That is one thing that Holiday Rambler's always been good for, is places to keep your clothes and your stuff. So many travel trailers, you know, uh, they, they just, they give up too much to try to give you the illusion of a big rear living room. But if you don't have anywhere to keep your things, what good is the trailer? I also noticed little stuff like the uh, the uh, latch type style here. That's that's something that I think they stole out of their motorhomes. Those are not the normal latches found in travel trailers. I like those because they work very well, and they're just really not inclined to bounce open down the road. Now I mentioned this is taller, and I mean perfect example here. I'm about six. Yeah, this is a seven foot interior. Um, you see all the extra headroom that you have in here. It makes such a difference when you have these taller ceilings. So if you are a little bit taller. This is a perfect trailer for you. Now, it is also worth noting that this is a shower, not a tub. So you don't have that big, giant, awkward step. Again, if you're a little bit older, uh, this is this is a perfect trailer for you. Um, bit, whoa, I just noticed how big that was. Big, giant, uh, almost kind of extra linen closet right here. Uh, you know, that's, that's the one thing this trailer needs is even more storage after the giant closet that we just saw. Um, up front here, you do have a full pocket door to slide open and close to give you some privacy when you need it. And even up here, this thing is very nicely kept. I've looked all over the trailer. I'm not a trained technician, but I haven't seen anywhere where there's been any sort of roof seam failures or leaks or anything like that. Anything I've seen, I've sh shared with you the, the good and the bad, you know. Like the little spot of delamination on the outside. It's purely cosmetic. It's not going to affect the use of this trailer. But it's there, and you deserve to know about it. We don't want you to show up after not being told and then have an awkward surprise. So remember that before we even met you, we, we tried to be honest and forefront with you. And that's one of the reasons that we also publish pricing on our website. You're going to find most dealerships don't do that. We don't ask you to call first. We don't try to give you the runaround. If a dealership asks you for a trade before they give you a price, they're playing games, bottom line. Uh, give us a call. Learn even more about this coach here at Halet RV, 800-256-5196. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.